hang there right now. Let me bind and work with Satan. Every demonic power, we come against it in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you. And we honor your great name. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Right, right, right. 
does a different job. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Amen. It's a process. Yes, it is. And I can feel the healing of God taking place in my life. Yes, I was telling my friends to people, and I said, you know what? I said, I can just feel. I said, I can just like one little error, you know. I said, but God is moving in on my heart. I thank the Lord. Amen for what he's doing. I, I, I thank God for all of the people of God that are here today. For those that have stood that, amen, that have been faithful and have stayed steadfast and held the ground and refused to be shaken, refused to be moved. That's God. It's the right of the Lord. Amen. So we in it to make him in our home. We go all the way. This is what it's all about. Our labor, my labor, is not in vain. When you labor for God, it's not in vain. Amen. Amen. It's a blessing to be saved, to have a shine of mind. Amen. 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 See, when you yourself are living saved and you got the word of God in you, and you know how. God deal with you yourself out of being saved. You look at situations by the word, you can determine whether people are saved or not. That word is, 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 is the plummet line. It's what God judges you at. It's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. You can't hide your heart. It's the word of God, amen. It, it will reveal the intents of one's heart, their thoughts. Amen. And then a lot of then, then it's all for our own good. That's right. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Because when it's all over, we got to stand before the Lord. Yes. And you got to give an account of everything that you found deserve. Huh? Yes. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to be able to be caught up. If I'm alive and remain to the time of the Lord, I want to be caught up in it. If I fall asleep in it, I want to, I'll be the first one to wake up. I'll be those just walk around and remain down here. Amen. The Bible said that they didn't punch your eyes first. Amen. He going to get them because he's going to bring them, he's going to bring the saints with him. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then every one of us that uh, saved is alive and remain in the Lord. And the cover of the Lord. Now I'm going to prevent them from coming. But we meet up yes. in the air. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. That's the way glory is there. It's going to be a fight for days for those that don't know the Lord. Amen. A terrible day. Amen. A terrible day. But it's going to be a great day for the saints. That's why we live saved. And we count it worthy to go back with the Lord. Count it, count it worthy. So you have to really, you know, be determined to make heaven your home. Amen. God is good. Amen. I wanted, I, mean, I, I, I wanted to get up and stand and hold on to the rocks of this, the minister, but some of this little bit more patience. Amen. 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 Well, everything is yet mended and Healing is taking place. Amen. Every, like I say, every week is something different. Different place. Different place. Thank God I'm off the floor back to the pool. Amen. God bless me up. Friday night, we had to stand up here and praise Him without holding on to anything. I said, God, thank you. Such a good God. Such a good God. I know I'm going to uh, ask Minister Daniel to keep me my reader. But thank God. I'm 
sitting down the counter, I wanted to thank God for you since I thought I see you. <laughs> we look at the good blood on in here. God is good, saints. God is good. He is a good God. I tell you, I see. You know, the Lord bless me to push Brother Isaac around in that chair. Yeah. Yeah. We told me it's an awful that was all of you. <laughs> Amen. But I say, you know, God is good. He is. He's a good God. So he God God is doing he's, he's doing things at his own pace. And he's he, 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 he's doing, he's he's giving an increase and he's blessing us. May God heal us together. Thank yeah. God for the ministers that yeah. can stand and teach in the same way. Yeah. I thank God for each one of them. I really do. I do thank God for them. Yeah. Amen. We still got the majority. Yeah. We got the majority. So, Again, God is a good God. I was, you know, we, we live in a time now where there's not uh, one thing that Jesus said to well, that the angel said to Cornelius. Cornelius, and you know the story, Cornelius, he was a, a just man. Uh, how many of you know by being just to mean that you say. For I mean, scripture don't say you say you just just pay. Come on. But he wasn't, he was not saved. Because he had never really gave full attention to the word of the Lord. And the Lord knew, he knew. He was giving, you know, when you warn somebody of a thing, they're not really in good standards. You got to warn them. Come on, y'all. Caution them. And then you know that somewhere they're not in the fullness of God. But the Lord knew that he had a preacher. One that he had trained and that set up under him and one that had been taught by him. He knew that Cornelius needed the word of God. Everybody, every preacher is not going to tell you what you ought to do. We live in a time where people don't want to be, don't want to be obligated. They don't want to be told you got to do this if you want to make heaven your home. Come on, y'all. Don't go to St. Paul. Some of us have heard this word time and time. I can't think of nothing to do. This word of God is settled, y'all. And he told Cornelius in his vision, the angel told him, say, Peter, when he coming, he going to tell you what you ought to do. What your duties are, your obligation. To you are obligated by God. Amen. Even a some man today does not even say you are obligated to give your life to God. You know why? Because Jesus paid the price for you. It's your duty. Amen. To believe this gospel. It's your duty to repent. If you're not saved. Well. You've been, you've been bought. You've been paid for. Well, in the book, I'll be the Acts, the 10th chapter. And I want uh, Mr. Daniel to turn there with me. Acts 10. And uh, we got my, my spot people on the bring up to where we are. Cornelius was a man just like a lot of people today, like a lot of church people, you know, going to church and do good things, what they call good. 
but they haven't as of yet submitted their life to God. Amen. Someone said the other day, there are going to be some good people in here. Right. And it's true. There are good deeds. There are good for the poor. But they just never got saved. Good people. How many of y'all know God, the Lord, come to save good people? Yeah. Amen. Those, amen. Cornelius was a man that did good things, but he wasn't saved. Well, thank you, Jesus. I want you to, amen, to read for me, Mr. Daniel. Uh, and I'm not going to read it pretty long, but this is community day. And uh, I want you to start for me. Let's go to the first verse. There was a certain man in, in Caesarea called Cornelius, uh -huh. a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Yes. A devout man. Devoted. And one that feared God with all his house, uh -huh. which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. Now wait a minute. Mm. He prayed to God always. He gave good day arms to me. But y'all, this is powerful. I, 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 you read it for yourself. He did. He did good things. Amen. What happened? He saw. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God uh -huh. coming into him and saying unto him, yes. Cornelius. Yes. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? Yes. And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy alms are come up for a memorial before God. Uh -huh. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon. Whose surname is Peter. All right. He lodged with one Simon a tanner, whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. You mean the tenant doing good for the people, giving alms? What are going to get him in? To be saved, you got to have a preacher. God got to send it. Huh? See, the Lord sent Peter. In other words, he told me he's what Peter was at. And he didn't want him to get him mixed up with Simon the Tanner. Man, if there was a left, if there was a left by the, by the water. See, this Peter, this Simon, his surname is Peter. This one, amen, praise God, in other words, been with me. This one, amen, has received teachings from me. Now, when he's come, you might not have heard this, I mean, I've heard him say this to you before, but you've heard other words. He going to tell you what you ought just to do. Yeah. What you're obligated to do, what your duties are, you owe God. Right there, the need was only doing for the people. But he was not doing nothing for God. Because he had not even believed upon the Son of God. Heard about him, but didn't believe on him. Just like about the book when we got saved, we went to church, we did this, we did that, but we didn't really believe. When you believe this gospel, your life is going to change. When you believe this word, this word has the ability and the power to change anybody's life. If you believe it. Yeah. So when he's come, he shall tell me what thou what ought to say. What your obligations are. Now this man was a, a centurion. This man, praise God, had status with the people. But 
Amen. 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 He needed to hear the gospel. He needed to receive it. That's right. He needed to believe upon the gospel. Yeah. Huh? We don't understand that. And when the and when the angel which spake unto Cornelius was departed, uh -huh. he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them that waited on him continually. Yes. And when they had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. Well, he was being obedient, wasn't he? Yes. Once he declared all those things to his two servants, the God servants, amen, they began to go for Peter. Right. Right. You got to have the gospel preached to be amen. saved. You got to have the gospel right. preached to be healed. Yes. Because it's all done by the word of God. Yes. The gospel is the power of God on the salvation. Yes. What he does for one, he'll do for the next. But you gotta believe the word. Right. Gotta believe it. Huh? When Cornelius, a man, had sent his household servants for Peter, Peter was on the house top down at Joppa. And it may not God know where you at. He know what he knows where you at. He knows just what you're doing. He saw a lot of us last night. Amen. He knows. He had nothing from it. Yeah. He said to him, "Praise God that Cornelius called him a just man." This is what the servants was telling Peter. It's a just man. Yeah. So I'm going some good roots. Amen. Amen. But being just do not give you salvation. Amen. One that feared God and a, a good report among all the nation of the Jews. What are you telling me today? So it was what? A devout man. Uh -huh. One that feared God with all his house, uh -huh. which gave much arms to the people and prayed to God always. All right. I believe, are, you, are you at the 22nd verse? Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am he whom ye seek. What is the cause wherefore ye are come? And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that feared God, and of good report among all the nations of the Jews, was warned from God uh -huh. by an holy angel to send for thee into his house and to hear words of thee. You've got to hear the word of God. Maybe we in a time where people don't want to hear this gospel. Even after many getting saved, don't want to hear the gospel. Don't want to hear what the preacher, what God gave the preacher, the preacher, preach to me. They don't want to hear it. Yeah. Tell me, Holy Ghost. You got to hear this word. If you don't hear something, preach, it's got to be coming from somebody. You're not going to preach to yourself. You got to hear. Amen. So he was warned, cautioned, huh? From God by a holy angel. Look at that. Say the sin for me into his house and to hear words of thee. He said he told me to hear. To hear. Yes. That's why many people end up backsliding. Going off and saying they won't hear. God say, withdraw yourself when he say, break off from sin. It's for your good. What this angel was saying, what this being was telling him, because it was for his good. He was being warned. Warned. Amen. We are 
Then called he them in and lodged them. Yes. And on the morrow, Peter went away with them. Yes. And certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Uh -huh. And the morrow they, after they in, entered Caesarea, and Cornelius waited for them and had called together his kinsmen and near friends. Yes. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. Uh -huh. But Peter took him up and saying, Stand up. I myself also am a man. Yes. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were come together. Now look, 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 look at Cornelius. Here Cornelius, a man, a man just, one that appeared God from all his house, was obedient. Amen to the angel of God. Sent for Peter. When Peter came, amen, Cornelius, amen, he bowed down before Peter and began to worship him. But Peter lifted him up by the hands and stand up by our also. There's awesome. something about when God is dealing with you, only drawing you to be saved, you have reverence for God's preachers. You're not going to sit there and be all the mental and bust back, fight back. There's a lot of people that have messed up today. People don't believe it, I'm telling you. Israel messed up for God when they first resisted Moses. Oh, they stayed in the church with the folk, but they put God said they ain't going in. Because of the disrespect that they did to the man of God. When you look at God is a holy God. And if you notice, amen, the Bible says how a holy angel not just an angel. But this angel, amen, that came to the knees was a holy angel. Yes, the devil can transform himself into an angel of light. But he told them, he said, this was a holy angel. Can a message of God. Telling, amen, praise God, to Nehus, send men to Joppa. Call Simon Peter. He got words and he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you what your ought is to do. Yeah. You don't want somebody telling you what you want to do. Right. You want to know your obligations to God. Yeah. How do I serve him? Yeah. What must I do to be saved? Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to know the truth. See, a lot of people don't want to know the truth. They don't want it. They want, I, you know, I, I live where I want to live. I do what I want to do. I go where I want to go. I ain't going to work. You're going to have to hear God. You're going to hear the word of God. Amen. Yes. Peter, he got together his near friends, his kinfolk. All of this was taking place within the span of about three days. Now, he is sitting up in his household. He was sitting there, amen, for about approximately four days while Peter was on his way there. He was ready. He was waiting for Peter. He wanted to hear what God had given Peter to tell him. Don't you know it's a blessing, amen, when God will let you sit down upon the man of God and give you the truth? It's a blessing when God will allow somebody to give you the true word of God. That calls you to sit and to hear the word of God. That's a blessing right there. A lot of folk, amen, praise God. They don't want to hear what the preacher got to say. Don't want to hear it. But then they 
something about, amen, even though the preacher preaching, you still can't stay away from it. Amen. 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 God, let people bring you right on up in the midst of here. Yeah. Here, that your soul shall live. Um, God call you, amen, praise God, for the preacher, God, the preacher, the preacher, the gospel, let me tell you something. Amen. Your uncle, your mama, your auntie, they cannot get you into heaven. You got to hear the preacher. Whether you like him or not, you got to hear him. You got to hear him. It's something how God, amen, can take that preacher. And amen, preach God, you can be your relative, but he can take that preacher, shave your mama. Save your sister, your brother. Come on. Nobody got over here by themselves. God allowed that preacher to preach to your granny, your granddaddy, your mama, your, your brother. The cause them to be saved. Come on. You can't pick your preacher. You can't pick the one, amen, that you want to sit up under. No, no, no. God is the one that makes that choice. God needed to pick Peter. God chose Peter. And he told to me, you want to hear all things that he got to do. He's going to give you the word of how to live. See, sometimes when we tell our parents, Amen. Praise God. Amen. You, you're watching to me tell the truth what they want to hear. It takes the preacher. Amen. Come God. The call souls to be saved. Huh? And God called me to preach this gospel. Let me take some my mother and my father. Set them to this word. When God saved them. Amen. Tell them what the Holy Ghost they had to hear. Yes, yes, right. Huh? Yes, right. My own wife had to hear this gospel. Yes, right. God gave me the preacher out of the city. My son had to hear this gospel. God got to fix like that. Jesus was the son of God and he had natural brothers. Yes. Natural sisters. Yes. And they didn't give him the true respect that those disciples gave him. Right. 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 Because they told Jesus, you do all this that you see, you know, they don't show yourself. They can always see him as a natural. They look at him after the blush. Now they look at all the people that God gave him. Don't you know it's God that gives a preacher to give a people to hear, to be saved. The Father is not as God. But what about God? If God puts your he ain't going to show no favoritism. If Granny go wrong, you know what he's going to do? He's going to stand up and raise Granny. 